Welcome everyone! Today we're going to be taking a look at Cyberpunk 2077 and yes, I know it's uh, kind of an older title but it recently got support for frame generation so I want to test that out and see how it performs on the Steam Deck. So, without further ado, let's just get started. As you can see, I'm uh, already setting up the low settings benchmark. Uh, this is running without any sort of frame generation, so uh, it's running natively, it also does, doesn't have any FSR enabled, so let's just see what sort of uh, performance we can expect uh, natively out of this console. So, as you can see, we are hovering around the high 30s. Uh, this uh, is the bar scene of the benchmark, which is a little bit less intensive than what, than what comes after, but it's still a pretty uh, rough estimate of what you're going to expect in game. Obviously, if you're like in a really intensive city area with a lot of uh, NPCs and all of that stuff, you are going to get slightly less performance. But again, this benchmark uh, is going to give you a very good understanding of what you can expect in this game. And as you have been able to observe, we have had scenarios with high 30s, we've had uh, scenarios with uh, low 40s, even 46, 47, something like that. So again, it will depend a lot on what you're doing. And to finish off, we get to the probably the most intensive part of this uh, benchmark, where we see it drop to as low as 34 FPS, 33 FPS. Uh, but yeah, I mean, this is still very playable. You can just lock it to 35 or something like that and pretty much forget about it. You're gonna get used to it and it's going to run very well. As you can see, we got an average of 40, which is decent enough. All right, but now we are going to enable uh, frame generation. Uh, we're going to set it to low again. Uh, enable FSR frame generation and we're going to set the FSR to performance as well. It's what it's uh, set automatically, so just so you know. Basically, as soon as the benchmark uh, starts, we can tell that FSR and frame generation are both on. Um, obviously, the graphics look blurrier, especially when you're in motion. Uh, I mean, that's what frame generation does, basically. It renders every other frame, so every frame in the middle is basically generated by AI or whatever software, everything's called AI these days, but anyway. Uh, result is that we get very good performance and we are seeing uh, almost 90 FPS, which is the, again, the refresh rate of this screen. But we're not reaching that 90 FPS. It's okay. I mean, we're, we're never looking for that anyway. Uh, but you can very comfortably p play this game at a high refresh rate with frame generation and FSR. And honestly, the graphical difference Yes, obviously it's there, but it's not as high as you would expect. And uh, honestly, this looks great. It runs great and it plays great, even though you have a little bit more input lag when you enable uh, frame generation. All right, uh, let's change the graphical preset a little bit now. Let's try medium settings. Uh, no FSR, no frame generation. So let's see how it performs. As you can see in the bar scene, um, we are getting very similar performance to that that we got on low preset. Um, so yeah, this basically tells us that this game is mostly CPU bound. And how do we know that? Well, we basically know that because we have increased the graphical settings and the FPS have not dropped. So that tells us that there is a CPU bottleneck and uh, we can further uh, check this by just looking at the consumption basically. As you the CPU is hovering at between 6 and 8 watts which is quite a lot uh, for a game on the Steam Deck. Keep in mind that uh, CPU wattage is 15 watts for both GPU and CPU. So yeah, we're basically uh, prioritizing CPU usage over GPU usage which will uh, basically have this result where increasing graphical settings doesn't actually uh, decrease performance. But uh, back to the graphical settings, medium does look significantly better than low. It looks uh, significantly more sharp. Uh, so yeah, I mean, F average FPS is basically the same. So it doesn't have a big performance difference to play on low than to play on medium. 
All right, let's now try the exact same settings, but with uh, frame generation on and again, FSR in performance, because that's what is set automatically and I don't want to change that, honestly. So immediately, again, same as in low settings, uh, there is a, a very big FPS difference. Uh, so we're seeing over 60 at pretty much every single frame, uh, which is great. But we are seeing those uh, blurriness and kind of artifacting in a way that uh, goes with frame generation. So again, because you're rendering every other frame, you're going to have less quality. But this game still makes great use of uh, FSR and frame generation. We've seen in other titles such as The First Descendant where frame generation doesn't really work that well and uh, in introduces a lot of input lag. I've tested this game with frame generation on and I can say that it doesn't really have that much input lag. Like, yes, it's noticeable. It's always going to be noticeable, but it's not as bad as other games. And again, uh, back to the game itself uh obviously looks better than uh low settings and it is uh very playable like we are seeing over 70 fps in a lot of situations and more than 60 basically guaranteed all right let's now try high settings again no fsr no frame generation just plain old high settings uh, rendered natively. So yeah, this is basically how it looks on high settings. I mean, I don't have much else to say other than, yes, we are still having the same uh, issues that we were having on medium settings where increasing the quality doesn't actually decrease the performance. Uh, again, we are CPU bound, so there's really nothing we can do about that other than overclocking uh, your Steam Deck, which I honestly don't recommend because the performance gain is not worth it to basically risk your console. But uh, yeah, um, seeing very comfortable FPS to play at above 30 all the time. Uh, game obviously looks uh, very good. But yeah, I mean, with FSR, we would be getting away with a lot more of FPS. Um, but uh, the cost of a little bit of quality. All right, so we are now going to run the game on high settings with FSR set to performance and frame generation on. So this is a weird one because I reran this a couple of times. Uh, you can see me here also checking for different things. Maybe I have something enabled or something like that. I don't have absolutely anything enabled. I don't have any windows open or anything like that. Uh, but we are not getting good FPS. Like we are seeing all the time 30 FPS and I have no idea what's going on, to be honest. Uh, please let me know in the comments if you're having the same issue while running this game on high settings. Uh, but yeah, I mean, for the life of me, I couldn't figure out what was going on. I still wanted to include it in case other people were having the same issue. Uh, but yeah, unfortunately, high settings on uh, FSR performance and with frame generation on for me is going to result in even less FPS than we were seeing before. And yeah, again, don't know why. Right, so finally we're going to test it on the Steam Deck preset. Uh, this is basically what CD Projekt Red uh, set as the best way to play this game on uh, the Steam Deck. And I probably assume that it's got to do a lot of, uh, with a lot of optimizations and turning down CPU heavy uh, settings and then turning up uh, GPU heavy settings just to get that uh, basically the best balance. 
So, as soon as the game starts, we can tell that uh, the graphical settings are the highest that uh, there have ever been in this uh, benchmark. Uh, they're supposed to be somewhere between medium and high with a little bit, uh, some options turned up higher, some options turned up lower, like for example, the texture quality is set to high, but some of the settings, like individual settings, are turned up a little bit down uh, in comparison to high, but uh, we're seeing very good performance, right? So we're seeing uh, close to 40 FPS, uh, most of the times, uh, which is great. Again, the bar scene is not, uh, it's like worst case scenario, same as the CD scene that's to come next. Uh, indoors, you're going to get above 40 at pretty much every single moment. And outdoors, it will depend a lot on what's going on. Like this is very crowded street with a lot of things happening, but we are still very close to that 40 FPS, dropping as little as 35, yes. But uh, again, most of the time maintaining the, the FPS close to 40. All right, and the last graphical settings that I want to test out is the Steam Deck preset with FSR set to performance and frame generation on. So uh, this is the game on Steam Deck preset, FSR set to performance and frame generation enabled. We are obviously, uh, this is a higher graphical setting than low on medium but we are still seeing very good performance uh pretty much almost every single frame has been above 60 except one for 59 that i saw but uh, it looks significantly better like i can tell a big difference uh, especially when, when it comes to the lighting and obviously the texture set to high also makes a uh, quite a big difference uh the puddle is very infamous in this uh benchmark and you can see that the the that the reflections weren't bad Right, so yeah, the issue is when we start getting into small objects while we are in motion. That's what you get with FSR again, and frame generation, so it's basically double. Uh, but uh, again, it's very, very playable, and honestly, I would sacrifice a little bit of uh, fidelity in exchange for those uh, FPS, especially in a situation like this, in a game like this, where um, you need fast reflexes, like, right? Like it's a first person shooter, you need to be able to react fast and to aim good, uh, and you're going to do that better uh, if you have a smooth frame rate. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed the video. Please leave a like if you did. Uh, leave a comment if you have any questions. Subscribe, and I'll see you again in the next one.